Hey folks, Carmen here from Urban Farm School. I'm here with Verge and we're looking at all kinds of crazy systems we have going on here at the Urban Farm Permaculture Project, which is my property here in Calgary, Alberta, Zone 3. Um, so I teach a lot of uh, soil health classes and I teach uh, a, a lot of um, components of the Verge uh, P Permaculture Design Certification course. So, of course, uh, you know, one of the classes I teach is all about food forests and you know how to build forest gardens and how to build more resilience. And in an urban environment, of course, that usually involves the removal of sod. So we talk about not breaking the nutrient cycle. What the heck do you do with that sod? So some early forest garden strategies, people were basically just tilling up the soil and leaving the sod in place and then putting cardboard over top and then planting in that. And what they ended up with, of course, was grass coming through everywhere. So it's incredibly long lasting in the soil, sod is. So what do you do with that sod? This is what we do because we find it works well. We basically pile it down. This, is, this was taken out from the front yard pathway about three weeks ago. There's still lots of living root systems, lots of viable grass here. If I, if I incorporated that back into my growing systems, I'd have grass everywhere. On the other hand, you try to put that into your composting system, forget it. It just will not break down. It will take years and years and years to break down. You can't use sod like this in a thermophilic composting uh, um, strategy like we talked about in one of our previous videos because it won't break down quickly enough so what we do is we just pile it up like this we turn it over upside down like so and we let it sit in its own place for as long as it takes for the grass to not become viable anymore so you can cover this if you want to keep the water off that's a really good thing to do we have more sod to remove so we haven't covered this pile yet uh, but this is this is really that we just leave it alone over time three to four years it will become uh, basically uh, you know soil so it's not going to be incredibly rich soil because this came from a lawn so a lot of compaction and so on but it's certainly a soil resource that we can reutilize in our system at some point it's just that it does not really belong in in a in a thermophilic pile a thermophilic composting system and even with the passive system it just you'll still find lumps like this after four years in your composting system so so this is the way that we deal with um, with sod. Now, of course, it will continue to grow. This could end up to be a massive uh, uh, grass pile if we don't cover it when we're done. We want to exclude light, uh, which is one reason that we turn it upside down. But we also want to keep a lot of moisture getting in. We don't want to feed the existing roots that are there, which are just going to end up in resulting in um, in, in grass sprouting. So another thing that I might show you here as well while we're next to it is we have these <laughs> pretty old but still useful uh, you know wire mesh cages and these we don't use necessarily for composting itself. We'll use these for the storage of dry materials such as uh, straw and, and leaves. So we have a lot of neighbors who contribute to our pile which we love and uh, and if they've got extra leaves they know exactly where to dump them and that's here now this is an open pile now we've got trees over top here you can see but we still get rain through with carbon rich materials like leaves and straw and wood chips that's not a problem moisture in that system is not a problem however if you're storing green materials like hay or grass clippings they must be covered and protected from rain or they will go anaerobic and you'll know when that's happening because it, you'll start to smell the ammonia as the nitrogen breaks down in the system so once you've got that going on once you get those anaerobic um, systems going there they can be really toxic for your plants so you really don't want to use those in your composting system you want to try to keep your pile aerobic so full of air so uh, so these are some of the additional strategies we use here for um, and, and you know accumulating materials for our composting strategies